Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Sorry, I don't even know the guy's name, to be honest with you. What's the guy's name? Your ex? Sorry about that. His name's Isaiah, but he goes by Rich Boy Cardi. He's rich? No, wannabe. Okay, so this is basically Shadi Bay's uh, the new boyfriend. This is the ex-girlfriend uh, that allegedly went through some uh, traumatic experiences with the guy. Let's be serious here. Um, so talk to me a little bit about him. Um, how do you know this young man and how did you guys meet? How did this start? Well, because I grew up in Delano as well. And then, well, we went to the same school technically. And like, I even have pictures of us as like eighth graders because he would come up to me. He'd be like, one day I'm gonna make you my girlfriend. And then whatever, whenever we graduated, I finally gave him the chance. Yeah. Because I was best friends with his sister. And then... The sister that's calling you out right now? Yeah. Okay, so continue. We'll get to there. Uh-huh. Then we would hang out all the time and he started coming around to like pick her up. And then he would just stay to like hang out with me. Mm -hmm. And then from there, well, we got together. Okay. okay so then um well let me ask you this how, how did it start let's be serious here how did it start like um where, where did you start seeing the problems occur was this a, a problem that kept occurring where he was was he always allegedly abusive or how did this start because i saw his i saw his uh, case file online and, and there's a few charges on the young man yeah um so how it happened was at first we would we were good and everything and then on my birthday which is the crazy part my birthday is october 1st okay. um so I went, what are you like a scorpio oh uh, no i'm a libra okay sorry about that uh -huh. and he didn't even hang out with me i spent it with my family and his sister and then come to find out like that next morning october 2nd like at 6 a.m i get a text from this girl telling me she slept with him and she's sending me videos of them like in the car together everything so and she sent me like the screenshot like oh he just ate me out like da -da -da, like being extra you know and then that's when i started like i guess getting mad and then i would call him but he would block me like he didn't answer for like two days and then he came to my house with like flowers trying to get me back yeah and then that's when like it all happened um he picked me up and he was like oh we're gonna go get he would do doordash at the time and, DoorDash it. Um, yeah, he would do DoorDash right there in Delano. And we were supposed to do DoorDash. It was like 12, like 12 maybe, uh -huh. 12 a.m. And we were going to do a DoorDash at Jack in the Box. And then he picked me up and um, he was like, let me see your phone. And then we started arguing about looking through each other's phone. And I was like, dude, you're the one that's been cheating on me. Like, you let me look through yours and then you can have mine. But he wouldn't let me. So then right there by that Jack in the Box, there's fields. So he drove me to the fields and he turned he got like into the almond field trees and he just turned off his lights and then right there i knew something was gonna happen and then so just I to clarify for the people i gotta do make little pauses here just to clarify um shoddy bay the new the new boyfriend this is the ex so she's just explaining the whole uh, uh experience here so i'm uh, sorry sorry about that continue um yeah and then so after he turned off the lights, I tried to grab my phone to record. And when he seen me recording, he just like slapped it on my hand. And that's the first time like he hit me like super bad. That's when I got all the bruises. And that's why I now have the restraining order. Um, so that that day he grabbed my phone and he started like smashing it. And I ended up having to get a new phone. So even the day of the court, he had to pay me for another phone because he broke it. Like the judge granted him paying for my phone. Damn. Uh, so was that that was the first time to, that he that this young yeah, man that he hit me. Uh huh. And it was all because like he would cheat on me and stuff. And then that's when his trust issues like he would try to accuse me for what he was doing. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. Okay. So then explain a little bit more. What happened um, after that? Did you give him? Because I know some people like to give second chances. Did you give him a second chance or what happened? Yeah. Okay. So then after that, well, like I said, he just beat me. So by this time it was like 1 a.m. And he was trying to tell me like, I'm going to take you back home. I don't know what. And I was like, no, like, I don't want to go back home with you. And he started recording me on his phone, like trying to joke. And he, I was running and he was like, she's a runner. She's a track star, like singing, like while I was running that ass away from him, like he had just beat me and he was dead ass saying that. And I remember I was just like, 
leave me alone. I stopped recording. I was just crying. And then he took off. And then it's a lonely street. Like I said, it was by the fields. So any car that would come by, I'd put my thumbs up. But since he had this beat me, like I bet, like I looked ugly with mascara all over everything. Yeah. So um, nobody was stopping. And then finally this one girl stopped and she was like, um, are you okay? And I remember the first thing I told her was, are you a guy or a girl? Because I didn't want to go in a guy. It was about 2 a.m. and I didn't have a phone, nothing. She was yes. like, I'm a girl, but I have my boyfriend. Like, do you want me? Do you want me to take you to the police department? But I didn't go to the police department because they didn't open till 5 a.m. So wait, I didn't me. even know that the police department till 5 a.m. In Delano, they close because um, it's such a little town. It's not big. Um, they close during the night and stuff. Like, yeah, you could call for emergency dispatch, but it has to be an emergency. If you want to file a police report, like it's closed. Damn, I did not know that. Okay, okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Sorry about yeah. that. Continue. And then, so she dropped me off home, and like 30 minutes after that, Isaiah went to my house, and he was just parked outside, like thinking I was going to walk from the fields to my house. Yes. He, he was dead ass waiting for me to like walk into my house so he could see me and grab me again. But I, the whole time I was just looking at him through my window, like I was scared. And. Uh, get off. Get off live real quick and request again. So you got a, like a you got a little warning. Can you do that? Okay. Thing? Okay. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Thank you. Okay. So for the ones that are a little bit confused, sorry about that. She had a warning in my in my TikTok uh, showing me she got a warning, so she needs to refresh. Uh, for the ones that are confused, that is the new or that's the ex of the boyfriend that Shadi Bay is dating, the one that's known by Rich something. Um, I didn't even know his name was Rich something, but allegedly he's not rich. Um. And um, I'm trying to stay serious here. You know what I'm saying? This is actually some serious allegations, seriously. Um, but the whole she's a runner, she's a track star kind of caught me off guard here, okay? Um, that was just a little bit like she's a runner, she's a track star. What the fly in Dublin was that about, okay? Um, but <laughs> let's continue this. Let's be serious because seriously, um, this isn't something to play around with. If somebody's being abused, this is something you need to report to the authorities and continue on with that. You see what I'm saying? Just though she's a runner, she's a track star, was a little bit crazy to me. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I think you uh, got some like sort of violation. Let's try to keep it, I think, maybe more like PG-13, if that makes sense. Yeah, I will. Okay, okay. So we left off on, uh, you went to the, the station, and then what happened from there? Um. So then from there, I had already, I had some recordings from that day. That was October 2nd. Then after that, it happened again. Like, I want to say, I think it was like October 26th. It was about to be Halloween. And then again with the same girl, she texted me again. And she was just basically telling me how she wanted to be the baby mama. Uh -huh. And at that point, I just told her, like, it's good. Like, you could have him. Like, I'm not going to, like, beg for him, that thing. And then he had picked me up once again. We were hanging out. And we had went to go eat. And we okay. started arguing and his thing was throwing stuff on me. Like that one video that I first sent, the one that's posted. Yes. I'm all wet all over my pants because he tended to throw whatever he had at me, whether it be a drink, anything, like it'll just get thrown at me. Yeah. And this time we had went for frutas with like crema and he threw it all over my windshield. It was all over my windshield. And then I would try to take off and he wouldn't let me. And like right now my car, it has dents all over my car. Because he would sock my windows, my car, everything. Like, he'd get on top of it, like, and obviously I'm not going to run him over or nothing. Like, he'd just get on top, like, trying for me not to leave. Yeah. He would throw stuff at my car, sock my car, everything. And then from there, that's when I stopped talking to him when that girl kept hitting me up that she was, like, still messing with him. And I stopped talking to his sister because she ended up becoming friends with that girl, like, besties with that girl that he cheated on me with. Damn. And um, whatever, I moved past it, then around, what, well, February, I got with the guy that I'm currently with, and this guy found out, Isaiah found out that we were together, and my man, he had went to go visit me, and I said, Delano's so little, there's only, like, two fast trips, so yeah. when he, my man went to go to fast trip to pull gas, Isaiah drove by and recognized him, and then he pepper sprayed my man. So then my man calls me crying, like, Joanna, I can't see, um, tell, like telling me to pull up. And then I pulled up and that day we pressed charges. And then that's when I fully put the restraining order 
Because, like I said, I wanted to just leave it at the terms where, yeah, this happened, but I wanted to learn from it. I don't want to put a restraining order or nothing. Yeah. And then when that happened with my boyfriend, I was just like, yeah, no, I'm going to put the restraining order. So, Damn, so, so he pepper sprayed your, your new boyfriend? Yeah, he pepper sprayed him, but it was with bear spray. It wasn't regular pepper spray because he's a security guard. Damn. Okay. Okay. So then now you see now you see that Shadi Bay's with him. What do you think about that? Like that whole situation? I know he's using her because when we were together, um, honestly, his followers were bought at first. Right now, some of them are real. But if you go look at them, they're all newly made accounts with like two followers. They're all like fake accounts. And I know because he buys them, he used to pay for his verification subscription. And then um, when Shoddy Bay was barely popping, Shoddy Bay had already tried to get at him. And he didn't think she was cute, right? So he was like, um, bro, I could use her for clout. Like, let me do it. He was trying to use her for clout while we were together. But obviously, I wasn't going to allow that because I knew that him having clout, it was going to come more cheating if he had already cheated on me. And I, I was so delusional. Like, I didn't want him to cheat on me. I wanted him to, like, stay with me. So um, I'd be like, no, don't do that. And then now that we're broken up, he actually went and now he's with shoddy bay but i believe it's all fake like i promise damn so you think he's using shoddy bay for clout yeah i know he is because i saw one video where he's with shoddy bay but he's holding like gucci bags and then on his snapchat he posted it and he put something light and he doesn't have money of any kind like i said when we used to hang out i would pay for his meals like i would pay for his whole family's meals so you sent me you sent me a video. Uh, uh, shout out to all the cheese man pages that robbed our, our our private conversation. But you sent me a video that he was in an RV. Yes, um, that's where they live. Um, yeah. So he's, so he's not a rich. What's his Instagram handle again? Rich boy Cardi. He has Wait. like one point two million. But like I said, the one million are bought and probably point two are real. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So then let's go back to the sister that pressed you. His sister. What was that about? Um. So his sister, she's always been super close to him because the, uh, their older brother is locked up. So uh -huh. this one's the baby brother. So they're all like close to him, everything. Yes. And she's seen that, I guess, that I'm not even the one that made the video. My friend texted me this morning at 9 a.m. I had just woke up and she was like, hey, girl, um, I'm trying to get Isaiah's like name out there, how he's not what he seems he is. Uh, but I want to go through you first because I had already posted it. But just on my Instagram, I never made a TikTok because like I said, I never had TikTok. And then um, she was like, I have the screen recordings, but I would like you to send it to me so I could just like send it to the people. And then that's when she sent it to you. But that's how it all started. Like, it was never me that was going to go and post about it. I was never going to nothing. And then she sent you my aunt, and that's how it all started. Damn. Uh -huh. And then so she saw that she saw the video and then she texted me like a whole paragraph saying, I know you're going to screenshot this, but I'm just letting you know. I don't remember what I sent you the screenshot, but she was like basically yeah. like telling me stuff. And then she went on her Instagram and she tried to defend her brother. She was like, um old girl is just clout chasing him um my brother never put a finger on her so then i told her i was like really how he never put a finger on me but i have videos and how did my restraining order go through it wouldn't just go through if he never laid a finger on me mm -hmm. and then she didn't answer me and then she called me and then she was just like basically arguing she was like pull up pull up but she's older than me like way older she's like five six years older than me yeah Okay, okay. So then, what would your final message be out to if you if you have a if you had like Shadi Bay on the other line? What would you uh, tell Shadi Bay? To get out of that, not even Shadi Bay, anybody like run because with me he would cheat on me and it was so easy for him because he has followers. So all he has to do is follow somebody and they're like, oh, he has followers and they follow him back. And even if it's from a small town, whether it be Delano, anywhere, as long as they get a follow back from somebody that has followers, they're gonna go for it. And he'll go and he'll just use them for stuff and then like get rid of them. So I'll just say like run, dead ass, don't trust him because he hits, he everything, he'll get abusive. And he wouldn't just like, oh, push me around. No, like he would stalk me like he was a girl. Like 
he would like that us just fist air and just grab me he, one time he pulled my hair like he doesn't just hit like he's a freaking nothing like he would hit me like it was girl on girl damn well i apologize you went through that you know what i'm saying physical violence is never the answer um but i appreciate you for coming on here you know what i'm saying i hope you got everything out so people know the public knows that's why i posted the the screenshots you sent me so people are aware um but thank you so much for joining the live i really do appreciate you thank you so much for letting me get my word out there i appreciate that yeah all god bless take care okay thank you have a good day